Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great and beautiful out there. So guys, first of all, I want to apologize for starting this live a little bit late. We're facing some technical issues, but notwithstanding, we are here recording the video and our guest is already there. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're just joining, you're welcome. If it's your first time on my channel, you're welcome. And please stay and join and stay and support the family. So without a lot of talking, let's go right in. I'm going to share my screen and um, our guests will come up and introduce himself. So please give me a second while I figure out all these technical things. If you please let me know where you're watching from once you join. So I'm just going to share my screen now. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but I mean, okay, guys. So I'm sure you can see our guest speaker for today. You're very welcome, and thank you for being patient with me while I figured out all the technical issues. So I go by the name Adenisa. If this is your first time here, stay tuned. Today we are having a guest interview, a guest speaker who will be sharing with us everything you need to know about traveling to france and getting a france student visa so this guest actually got his visa alone without the help of any agent he's currently studying in the american business school in paris and so he's going to give us a walkthrough of everything you need to know how the process was and if you like to contact him to get like more information or if you like a one-on-one -on -one assistance He'll be willing to do that. So at the end of this video, he's going to share his email, his Instagram, where you can easily contact him. He's also a footballer, so he's really kind of busy if the, if the response delays. But please um, reach out anytime you can if you're interested to travel to France. If you're an English speaker and, was, and you have been wondering how do you can be French, um, even as an English speaker in France or go through the whole interview process with Campus France and every other thing, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned and enjoy this session. So over to you. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself? And even though I've already given a little bit of information, but over to you. Okay, greetings, everyone. I am called Ademidi Azengwing. I am a Cameroonian by birth. I study sports management in the American Business School of Paris, my first year, first semester. And I am also a footballer in a club in France, Paris. Yeah. Thank you so much for that introduction. So you're currently studying in American Business School. And so you're studying sports management, am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Awesome. So I think my viewers will be interested to know how you got admitted in American Business School in Paris, given that it's one of those big universities, like it's a dream university for every English speaker in many African countries and around the world. So how did you get admitted into the school? Oh, okay. My academic interview process was really a good experience for me because I was accepted just at the end of the interview and they sent my admission later the next day after the interview and the main yeah 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 the main questions they asked me was that why choose the american business school of paris why choose my major and what do i know about the culture of paris or france yeah that was the three main questions that um, made me to be accepted in the American Business School of Paris. Yeah, so those are the three. Keep in mind those these three questions. Yeah. Thank you so much. So guys, what I'm understanding is it's not very scary. So if you've been wanting to study in France, please go ahead and apply. The, the interview process for admission into the school is not really difficult. You just have to take a leap of faith and first of all, apply. So how did you answer? Let me say when they asked you, 
Um, why did you choose the American Business School? Just giving a glance to my viewers, what they can say. What did you say? <clears throat> yeah, so the question, why did I choose the American Business School of Paris? My answer was, I choose the American Business School of Paris because it is well renowned in the field of sports management. And the sports management program is accredited and well recognized for their academic excellence. This aligns perfectly with my aspiration to receive high quality education that will equip me with the knowledge and skills needed to excel in the competitive field of sports management and football business in Cameroon. Yeah, so I, you see, I answered it like this way to show home ties, yeah, home ties. It makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much. And was the interview in English or French? It was in French, 100%, sorry, 100% English. Yeah, you know, it's an American school. Yeah. Even though it's in Paris. Okay, so you're actually studying in English or French? 100% English. That is amazing. So even English speakers can actually come there and feel comfortable and still do amazing. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing that with me. If you guys have any questions or to know exactly how the detailed interview process was, please reach out to him and he's going to let you guys know. So moving to the next uh, question, I know once you get, for you to travel to France, you need to go through the Campus France, right? So what was your yeah. Campus France experience like, especially given the fact that you're an English speaker? Okay. Um... Firstly, firstly, before yeah, I got admitted. Firstly, before I got admitted to the American Business School of yeah of Paris, I applied online to the school and uploaded all my academic documents. And the school reviewed my documents and invited me for an academic interview, so that they can finally make a decision for me. So. The next day after my interview, I got my admission letter stating that I have to pay a sum of 3,000 euro for, for, um, for me in order to um, reserve my spots. Yeah, because you know, it's competitive. Yeah, there are, many, there are few spots in the school and need to 3,000 euro the school will send you documents like visa documents that will facilitate the visa process. Very, very interesting. Like um, domicile, where like you be, they'll give you a document stating that you'll be staying in their school. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. you, you, they don't give accommodation, but it's still good. And they give you documents they give you certificate the scholarity to name a few. Yeah, so that those are the documents which facilitates your visa, your, your visa application. And after I got the visa documents from the um, school, the American Business School of Paris, I went to Campus France, which you have to put in mind that Campus France is very mandatory. It's a mandatory institution in which you have to go there after your um um, school admissions, you finish the process, you it's very, you must pass through Campus France. Yeah, if you want to come and study in France. Yeah. So in Campus France, I was asked to translate my academic results. Yeah, my academic results from from five. Yeah, in Cameroon we have from five, then we have lower seat and upper seat. I had to translate all into French. Yeah, and also my high school transcripts. Then I had to create an account, a Campus France account, where I uploaded my academic documents, my admission letter, and also the visa documents I got from the school, and also my identity, which you, you can upload your identity card, and also you put your address. So <clears throat> later after one, later after, later, in after one day, um, campus fans reviewed my documents and invited me for my visa application interview. Take note: the interview results is going to be sent to the embassy. Yeah, the results are going to be sent to the embassy, but it's confidential. The yeah, campus fans doesn't tell you if your scores, how did you go the interview. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, that's that's it. And the questions, can you can you permit me to like um give the questions? Um, before you continue, so just to summarize so that the viewers can understand, if you're yeah. English speaking, if your documents are in English, you need to translate them to French and have everything ready. I just like to know yeah. um if somebody is having difficulties even creating the portal or just understanding what the campus France process is, can they reach out to you for you to help them through the campus yeah. France process? Yes, sure. They can reach out to me. I'm always available here. Yeah. I'm always just leave a message, a text, and, and an email. I'll reply. Yeah, I'm willing Thank to. You this. So much. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. So, please, if you're watching or you watch this video later and you're struggling with the whole campus France process, you're even English speaking, then you can reach out. If you're French speaking, then it's a little bit advantageous because um you can easily navigate speaking French. They mostly communicate yeah. in French. But if you're English speaking, don't be worried. Um. I think from his experience, you can see he still was able to navigate and there are people to support you with the language barrier and make sure that you're not being discriminated because of language. So make sure to go. Please go ahead to tell us some of the questions that were asked and how he answered that. Okay. The Firstly, they told me, so I greeted, yeah, I greeted the interviewer. And the first question was, I should introduce myself. Yeah, yeah, I just said, um, I just give you name. I give my name, my age, um, where I schooled, my, yeah, just simple. Yeah, straight to the point. Don't take much time. And the other question was, which city did, did I school in? And yeah, so I gave the city. Yeah, so you can give your city, the, your high school. Yeah, the last, the, the, the city. In, where you did your high school, yeah, and they asked me, what did you do after your high school final exams? Yeah, I, what I said was that I, I and my family were preparing to, we were like saving money and preparing um, me for the, my travel to, the stu to study um, in the American Business School of Paris. And... The other question was, um, are you going to continue studies after obtaining your bachelor's degree? So yeah, you have to say you have to say no because you applied just for bachelor's degree. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and always try like to bring your home ties. Yes, yeah, you, like you say, you come back to your country, stuff like that. Yeah. So they said, because I had um, <laughs> I had a bad grade. One of my subjects, maths, I had a bad grade there. So they asked me, <laughs> why did you get bad grades in the subject? I you can use you can say your professor. What I said, for example, was that my professor was not good and he was not teaching the subject well. Yeah, so that's what I said. But you can still be honest and. You can still mm -hmm. like, yeah. You understand. You can form something, yeah. But yeah, always you try to be, yeah, creative. You always be. You have to be honest. Yeah, you can be honest. Yeah. So they asked me, "What do you want to do after finishing your studies in France?" They they say, they say "What do I want to do after study studies in France?" Um, I said. I would like to come back. I, I gave a name in my in my home country, a name of a company where I would like to come back to and work. That's to just show again your home ties. Yeah, and they said the last they they asked me what is sports management, and I had to define it. And yeah, they just asked me how many years I'll be studying, and would what I want to become in future. And yes, 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 yes. And at the end of the, yeah, the end of the 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 interview, the interviewer will ask you if you have any question. And my question was that, please, madam, can I come back to my home country during holidays, and like during vacations or holidays, and visit the companies in which I'm planning to work in, and 
work in after completing my bachelor's degrees. So she said, yes, yes, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so she said, it's good, yeah. So I asked this question because at the end, I wanted to still show home ties to my country, showing that I'm going to return to my country after studies. Yeah, so that's the Campus France process and the interview questions. Thank you so much for that detailed process. I see it was really, um, so as much as it's not very difficult, but from what I get, you, you guys have to prepare for it. Make sure you're prepared yeah. for the questions, be ready to show home ties, be ready to really know. Okay, for example, you need to know the course you're studying. Imagine they ask you what sport management was. If you had no idea, then they'll know you're not yeah. serious. So yeah, exactly. You, you need to know exactly what you're studying. You need to show be show that you want to come back. I really like the last question you said. You asked them. You're really showing them that, okay, no, I'm really going, but I'm coming back. I really want to be home. I'm just going here to study and get whatever and continue. So, guys, please yeah. use all the amazing tips he shared. And, of course, if you still have questions, you're wondering how to ace and to have an amazing Campus France interview smoothly, please reach out to him again. So, guys, um. Was your interview in English or French? Yeah, actually, my interview was in French because, you know, Cameroon is a French-speaking country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you are, like, in an English-speaking um, country, your Campus Franks interview will be in English. Yeah, it's going to be in English. And I was interviewed in French, if I can remember, because the interviewer, was not able to like speak French well. I mean, sorry, speak English well. So I had no choice to speak in French, but I mixed it. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not a, um, I'm not fluent in French, so I mix English and French. But but I try I try my my best. Yeah, and God really seriously, God guided me through through this interview because I I am not an I am not um a French speaker. Yeah, but it was good. It was good. The interviewers are very friendly, nice. Yeah, it was good. Thank you so much. So what I understand is even if you're struggling with French and you'll find yourself in a French-speaking country or your interview has to be in French, don't be worried. Just try your best, even if you know the very little basics, to communicate what you want to tell them. Because if you're confident about your answer and you're actually giving them the facts, they're not going to downgrade you because you're not speaking the language they're in they're more interested in the content so yeah if, exactly. even if you speak french fluently and you cannot um answer the questions correctly or convince them that you're coming back or you really want to just study in france they're not still going to give you so the language is not the main issue but the content your confidence and just pray before you go so everything can actually go well Thank you so much for that um, detailed um, explanation. I already, so you already explained a little bit how you manage with the language barrier. So now after Campus France, what next? Do you just get your visa and travel after Campus France or what happens? No. After the Campus France process, yeah, our, the Campus France, after like two weeks, the, after the interview, they will send you um, a document a document in which you take to the um, um, visa center. Yeah, in Cameroon, I went to the TLS contact. I repeat, TLS contact visa application center. Yeah, the it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an application center that um, helps you where you apply to. Way, way you do your application for the France visa. And in other countries, um, like I think in Nigeria and other countries, is the, you, you go to the VFS, yeah, the VFS application center for France visas, yeah. So they helped me through the process. They um, reviewed my documents one by one. Yeah, they reviewed, reviewed, and they, they, because normally after the campus funds um interview when you receive your um um a document or um like acceptance or a documents to prove that you pass through campus funds in which you take to the embassy you have to like before going to the tls contact 
you are the visa center, you have to apply first for your visa online. Yeah, apply first for your visa online. And when you apply online, you will receive um, a visa confirmation page stating all the documents you have to go with or you have to get before going to the TLS contact. And before going to the TLS, TLS contact, you have to create your account online yeah, and book an appointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can be, and you have to pay a fees of about, um, let me say, 50,000, sorry, $50. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, fifty dollars. Yeah, and be, you book your your appointment, and you go to the the center. They will cross check all your documents. If your your checklist is complete, then they will send your document. They, they will take your fingerprints, everything, pictures, and then send your documents to the consulate. And the consulate will review your documents. It usually takes two weeks, and TLS contact will tell you that the 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 of your your passport is with them. Yes, they have received your passport from the consulate, but they don't tell you if you have been given the visa or not. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the process um is to summarize it after everything. So you have to go through campus France. It's a must. You have to pass through campus France. If you don't pass if they don't uh, validate you in campus friends then you're not able to even go to the next stage so but next, yeah, yeah. that's why it's very important for you to um ace the campus friends interview once you get up approved they'll send you a confirmation saying you're fasted and do you also submit that confirmation when to the tree portal yeah you submit it submit the confirmation it's a very, very important, yeah, because it, it, it carries all your information, yeah, you, what you put in your application, yeah, the, the confirmation page, yeah. So, so it's also very Campus France helps you to make sure that you have all the documents necessary to go to for the to the, to the embassy, the consulate, right? Exactly, exactly, okay. yeah. So and one, have... thing is that, one, one thing is that, ask questions yeah you have to ask questions a lot of questions in the um campus francs yeah ask a lot of questions questions that you at the reception you see you see um a receptionist who, who will receive you ask a lot of questions they are going to answer they are very nice people yeah they, they are there for for that yeah so don't be shy ask as many questions as possible any anything that you're not sure of, ask so that you don't make a mistake. Ask. So after that, yeah. um, you create the account, you book a, an appointment for the visa consulate. Please make sure to check exactly the location that because like it's, I mean, if you're in a big country, you'll probably have different um centers. So make sure you go to the location that is specific to your own area. Once you're sure yeah. of that, then now you um you contact the visa center for. Um, to continue with the process, right? And then you say you pay some fee. Do you pay the fee yeah. when you're booking the appointment or to the, T did you see the TLC or something? You pay You pay the fee, you pay the fee when you can decide to pay a fee when you're booking the appointment or you can decide to pay at, on the day of your appointment. It's just your choice. Yeah, but um, your appointment um expires after three days yeah yeah so if you don't pay but it's always I will, i'll tell you it's advisable to pay before your appointment you pay online before your appointment yeah just pay online before your appointment so avoid complications yeah okay so you pay that and then do you go physically to the so you go physically only on your appointment date with all your documents yeah exactly you go physically on the appointment yeah to the do you go to the embassy or to the consulate where do you go to or the visa center where do you go with your you, go, you go you go only to the visa center yeah from campus france to the visa center yeah okay. you, you don't you, you don't go to the embassy yeah okay so it's basically campus france you create that portal the visa center helps um then you go for your um, appointment make sure that you don't miss your appointment be there on time you go with all the yeah. documents they're gonna tell you everything you need on the portal right everything you need to yeah. bring 
then you prepare everything, you go and submit. And then after that, you just go home and wait for the confirmation. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so guys, after you have submitted every document that is needed, please, you go and wait. Um, Just because, uh, did you have any issues? Did they need more documents at any point? If they need more documents, would they inform you or something, or they will just reject the, 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 the visa? Um, okay, for my case, um, I was lacking a document. Yeah, the, the consulate sent a message to the visa center, an email to the visa center, and the visa center sent it to me stating that I have to bring a document, yeah, which is lacking. Yeah, so they tell you that bring this document before this date. And I brought it. And yeah, after three days, they said my passport is ready. And I went and took, and successfully the visa was approved, yeah. So this is interesting. So when they tell you your passport is ready, do they tell you if your visa has been approved or not? No, no, no. That's the thing. They don't tell you. <laughs> don't tell you. So it's a surprise. Okay, whatever the case, if they accept you or not, they will tell you your passport is ready. So ready, yeah. You get, you get it. Boom. If your yeah. visa is inside, amazing. If it's not inside, you carry it and go home and try again. <laughs> and yeah, God's that's so that's kind it. to you. Yeah. Your visa was inside. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's yeah, great. really amazing. Yeah, it was really great. It was really great. Yeah. So of course, guys, um, given that just my only to advice would be that if you planning to travel and you have maybe your school is, will start maybe in a couple of months, try to start the process as soon as possible because you don't know the delays you might have or the documents you need. But for American Business School in particular, from what I understand from our guests, they really help facilitate the process. They send you all the required documents that they can they can, or they have to, and then you just have to try yeah. and figure out what you need from your own yeah. side. But they facilitate your uh, um, housing, they make sure that you everything is covered, like they just ensure that everything is covered. And guys, yeah, and see, yes. And so you, need, you need to have a bank statement too. Yeah, a bank statement which covers your tuition, which covers your tuition fee. Yeah, your tuition fee, and also um, it has to show six hundred and fifteen euro um a year your 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 living cost in Paris. Yeah, so you have to calculate your tu the tuition fee plus six hundred and fifteen euro times twelve months. Yeah, twelve months. Yeah. Okay, so get, you have to have yeah, to see to get your bank statement. So that's that's it. Your bank statement should be a little bit heavy. You should be able to cover the amount of the tuition and some extra money for your living expenses, from what I understand. And also, you have to do a deposit for the American Business School in particular because it's a well-renowned, prestigious school. You have to do a deposit of three thousand euro, but it is refundable. If you don't get your visa, they're going yeah. to send back your money. So guys, yeah, don't be scared. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. So it is refundable. You just need the money to secure your spot. They're going to actually yeah. send it back to you. He's their life evidence. So yeah. I think it's, imagine he's wearing the Paris Mayos. Yeah. That he's Paris. In Paris. <laughs> <laughs> a place to be very good, very nice. <laughs> so we have just like a few eight minutes left. Okay, you tell us... Um. Your experience now in Paris. What do you think of Paris? What do you think of your school? Yeah, is it what you expected, or is it different from what you expected, or did it pass your imagination? Oh, okay, okay. Like for, I'll start with Paris. Paris in 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 particular, Paris is very. It's a very beautiful place. Yeah, I would say it's a very beautiful place. What's the way you see it in, like the way you see. It, in the pictures yeah on online on the internet is the same like the same and i had a really good experience at the eiffel Tower, yeah because you go when you go there you meet people from different cultures you meet many many people 
And yeah, it's a good experience. And the people here in France are so nice. Yeah, especially Paris, I, because I've been, I'm in Paris. Yeah, so the people are so nice. Yeah, they give that they, they give you 100% hospitality. Those, they are so nice. And for my school, the American Business School of Paris, yeah, the, 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 the school facilities are very, very good. The administration, they, they are very nice. Yeah, they are very nice. They attend to you anytime. Yeah, anytime you have a problem, any question, they attend to you. It's very, very nice. And also, one great opportunity is that um, you are opportunity to like go for a six months after your, your three years bachelor degree, the opportunity to go for a six months internship in the US. Yeah, so it's good. There are many, many opportunities that if like I want to start explaining here yeah, or telling you guys, it's, we are going to sleep here. So with time, we are going to communicate and know more. You're going to know more from me concerning the school. And yeah, so that's, that's it, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. <laughs> so I'm so I feel like flying now and coming to Paris, but of course I can't at the moment. But yes, guys, <laughs> if you're having plans of going to Paris, it's a place to be. It's beautiful. Um, you don't have to really worry about the language barrier. This is a living testimony. He's English speaking. I mean, he's of yeah. course you learn French in the process. But it's also yeah, an you advantage French. for you to learn. Yeah, you learn French in the process. Right now, I'm, I'm, my French is a little, it's, it's in, I, I, my French has improved. Yeah, really improved. Yeah. Can you give us a it, quick introduction in French about you? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Je m'appelle Adem Medzi. Je habite uh, à Paris. The nom de mon école, uh, I'm the American Business School of Paris. Of Paris. Je suis un footballeur. Oui, c'est ça. Oui, 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 c'est ça. Merci beaucoup. I don't know French, but yeah, merci beaucoup. I know what you said was true. Whatever you said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That is great. So it's also an, an opportunity for you to learn a new language, meet a new culture, and just be the best. They have the, the school has so many openings, so many opportunities yeah. for growth, yeah. networking, so many courses. I'll probably do a review about the school. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll do an actual review about the school, how to apply, and everything you just need to know about the school. And please, can you give us um if they want to reach you, what's your Instagram handle? Okay, my Instagram handle is ademidi one two three um stone yeah stone. Can you send it out so people can follow? A d e m i h d i one two three stone s t o n e. Thank you. Yeah. Adi Midi one two three stone. A D E M I H D I one two three S C O N E. So you guys can contact him on um Instagram. I think he replies. Do you prefer Instagram or any other means? Do you frequently use Instagram? Yeah, um, I frequently use Instagram. And my email, you can also get me through email and also WhatsApp. Yeah, so if you want that kind of gift. Yeah. Okay, so I think you should give just your email um, since WhatsApp is a little bit more personal so they can reach yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Adeazengui at gmail.com. Can you spell it? Because it's not okay. A okay. Ade as at gmail dot com. A D E A Z I E N W I N G at gmail dot com. Yeah. Thank you. I'll also put it in the description box um, so that it's easy. But if you're watching this live, like live, I'm not able to see if anybody's connected or not. But if you're watching it, um, so please go ahead and take that information and reach out to him. 
tell a friend, tell anybody that's been interested in studying in Paris, please share this video so they can get, get like a first-hand experience of how everything works out. Thank you so very much for coming, taking time to talk with the viewers today. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing those very important details. And um, I might co I might compare it. I mean, in the next my video where I'll be talking about the Americans Business School, I might just give you guys a bonus and talk about some of the documents you need to put together be, um, when applying for the Euro France visa. And just a little thing that I know is when you get the visa, you're able to travel in all the is it the Schengen countries? Right? Yeah, Schengen. Yeah, yeah. Last week I was in England. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, you have the opportunity. That's amazing. And so you can see yeah. once you also get this visa, you're not just limited to France or Paris. You can travel to different um countries around. Yeah, during your spring during your spring break, your your holidays, vacation. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Guys, please, please um start considering France if you haven't, especially with my new video that's coming up about UK and all the barriers to travel to the UK. So please, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll let you go now. So we go back to your busy day, school, football, and all of that. So if yeah. we we'll, if we have any questions, please be expecting people to reach out and. If you have anything, uh, we might have you again as our guest of honor another time. But I really appreciate you taking our time to talk to me and us today. Have a blessed day until we we'll see you again. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. And keep in mind, guys, Paris is a place to be. <laughs> and the American Business School of Paris, keep in mind. Okay, thank you. It was nice. The, video, the interview was good. Everything was good. So have a nice day. Stay safe, people. Bye-bye. Bye for now. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, We have come to the end of our live. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that other people can hear about this good news and just have an opportunity, a chance to travel to France. And stay blessed till we see again.